is craft week here at the show, and I am so excited to get my DIY on with our next guest. He's an environmental lifestyle expert, really kind of first to the party, a true pioneer. And his magazine, Naturally Danny CO, is jam-packed with amazing tips and tricks. I've actually read this issue front to back. Please welcome the original Danny CO. Hi, Drew. That does look like a worn issue. I gotta get you a fresh one. <laughs> well, I really, I mean it though. You were really first to the party with all of this and everybody has sort of, I'm happy to say, jumped on a bandwagon to yeah. be more environmentally conscientious, but you were doing it way before it was in vogue. I think um, it's now gonna be 30 years. Um, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna dye common cotton things, paper things, using this beautiful pink dye. And can you guess what our one ingredient natural source will be? Danny, <laughs> tell us. I mean, it's kind of obvious. There's a bowl of avocados right here, but we're using avocado pits. I love that. I have a real association and affinity for avocados and their pits. And I knew that about you. You did? <laughs> <laughs> Oops, ah, see how slippery they are? I'm gonna grab it. And as they say in Pretty Woman, slippery little suckers. They're very slippery little suckers and that's the avocado oil and that's the flesh. So you have to clean them really well. So like dry them. So we're gonna dry them up, but you wanna get all that oil off. And okay. So you get them really wet. And what you can do is take a little bit of just, we have a little shot of soap. You can take a little bit of soap and just get it off because the avocado oil that's on the outside of the seed, that can actually get onto like whatever you're dying. And right. you don't want oil stains. And what we have in the bowl here, we have about, you need about six to eight uh -huh. avocado seeds and you want them all to be clean. Okay. You put them into a pot of water. Okay. And then what you do is that you simmer this for about 45 minutes. Wait a minute, Danny, this coloration is not from an avocado. It is. No! Yes, you don't get a green dot, you don't get a brown dot, you get this beautiful pink dye from the seed. You have got to be kidding me. I thought we were actually working with some type of color dye and I was like, oh, I love rose color. Yep, this is it. This color is from the inside of the avocado? Six avocado seeds and that's all you need. That's okay. it. Uh, Easy. So what we're gonna do is simmer this for about 45 minutes. Okay. And then while we're doing that, you wanna get your materials, you wanna dye ready. I mean, this truly looks like one of those stores you walk in and you're like, everything's so beautiful, but how much is it gonna cost? Because it's so chic. It kind of reminds me of that store, uh, ABC. ABC. <laughs> <laughs> We like the same thing. I want a high Daddy. five, but I, I can't. Know me too. So I see the pits and the color and everything, but I want to know exactly how to do this. You know, I'm not a pro pro at this, but what I do know is you want to fold whatever you're tie dyeing, sort of like as many ways that you want, twist it around. But I just fold it a couple of times and take rubber bands, and then you kind of tightly just wrap the rubber bands around and around. So then after 45 minutes, you want to let the dye cool down. So. You know, so you well, don't burn your fingers. So it's not like boiling over. And you put it in the dye like this. And then what I like to do, Drew, is that I actually let it um, soak overnight. But I also find that I let it sit out for a day or two and then I wash it in cold water. That's perfect. Oh good! Yeah, that's perfect, that's I'm perfect. I'm doing it right? So we have a bowl of cold water here. You're gonna take the one that's been cooking in the, in the one that's already in there. And we're just gonna you know, rinse it out. And then we get to do the fun part. We get to do the reveal! What you could do if you wanna be really, really eco is to actually take them off and reuse the rubber bands. Uh-oh, okay, uh, I, good news. I failed the first one. I will succeed on the uh, second. Ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. <gasps> oh, wow! <laughs> Danny, this is Gorgeous, and I have to tell you, you it. can't really get this color in the dye world. Like, no. this is so unique. You know what, there's also a study that says that pupils dilate when you see uh, something that you associate with pleasure. So, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> My pupils are like, <laughs> Danny, this is so so beautiful. You can dry it and stuff it uh, with a fresh pillow. And I should point out, the tutorial for this avocado dyeing project is in the winter issue, which comes out December 3rd.